I'm Don Brown. I'm a writer-illustrator. I've been doing kids' books for nearly 20 years. I write stories about real people who did real things. For the last five years, I've been doing graphic nonfiction on big historical events. I've done a graphic nonfiction on Hurricane Katrina and the drowning of New Orleans. I've done a graphic nonfiction on the history of the Earth, the geology book. I've done a graphic nonfiction on the Spanish influenza. And it was that book that led me to be interested in the history of vaccines and microbiology. Shot in the Arm is narrated by Mary Montague. Now, she was an English lady who ended up in the Ottoman Empire when her husband was a diplomat for the British Empire. There, she learned about a vaccine or a way to protect yourself against smallpox. Now, for virtually everyone on the planet alive, we have no experience with smallpox. But at the time, and for thousands of years, it was a killer. It killed up to 30% of the people it afflicted. Now, Ms. Montague found a way where if you infected yourself with a mild case of smallpox, then you would be forever immune to it. Because after you have smallpox once, you'll never get it again. And she used that opportunity to vaccinate one of her children. And it became all the rage of England when they heard about it. And it went around the world. It had already existed in Asia and the Middle East, um, and even in Africa. In the United States, in the Massachusetts colony, and a smallpox epidemic flared up. Cotton Mather, one of the, the colony's fathers, wanted to do something about it. And what he learned from one of his people who he enslaved was a way to protect yourself by way of var variolation, where you give yourself a small, mild version of the disease to protect yourself from a full-blown version, uh, version of the disease. And this enslaved person ended up saving thousands of people in Massachusetts. Certainly this story back vaccine speaks to me personally because I'm old enough to remember the horror of um, polio epidemics. When I was a small child, my parents would be devastated, frightened beyond belief. Um, thank God we don't have to worry about that right now. And that's because of a vaccine I think I'd like kids to take away the idea of the power and importance of science and knowledge and information and how that can benefit everybody. Um, and that we shouldn't be ruled by hearsay, rumor, conspiracy. That isn't what's important in this world. We live in a scientific world and science is not the enemy. Science can be a great benefit and friend to all of us.